Your school, your news. We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Winner of more than a dozen metro and state awards for broadcast excellence. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Friday, September 12th, 2008. And here's the stories making news around your Linmar campus. Our top story. We are already more than one-third of the way through the first quarter, and the weekend is here. Tony and Jessica have a complete rundown of everything happening in the LMTV Weekend Report. Guys... The most important thing to remember is that tonight's a blackout. Everyone going to tonight's football game will be wearing black as we watch Lions beat Dubuque Senior. The sophomore game starts at 5 with, you guessed it, varsity to follow. As an added bonus, the Iowa State Marching Band will be performing at Armstrong Field during the varsity football game. This outstanding band includes many Lamar graduates, including former LMTV weatherman Justin Cook. The ISU band will be performing their pregame and halftime show in preparation for their appearance at the Iowa-Iowa State football game in Iowa City on Saturday. Also tonight is the 13th annual Soda Try and Student Ambassador Tailgate Party. It starts at 5.15 p.m. Enter as normal and go to the north end zone for food, soda, prizes, and to cheer the Lions on to victory. Also this weekend, the Linmar Booster Club is having a clothing sale from... What time? 9 a.m. to noon in the Lower Commons. Varsity Volleyball will host the Linmar Invitational. Matches start at 9 a.m. New movies this weekend include Tyler Perry's The Family That Prays, that's with an E, and The Women. That's your weekend. Make it a good one. Olin, back to you. In other news, you can buy a reserved carpool spot for the low price of $10 and at least three occupants in your car. You can be guaranteed a reserved spot from 7.30 to 2.30 and go to the attendance office today and pick up your very own carpool spot. We will be right back to LMTV News right after this. Good afternoon, Lamar High School. How can I help you? Just a moment, please. Thank you. Call on uh, line one. Thank you, Drew. Hello, Lamar High School. How may I help you? Yep, thank you. I can do that for you. Rain dance. God, it's not in my office. Welcome back. Have you picked up your back-to-school dance pictures yet? They're in the main office. Get them today. Now, Emily takes a look at today's sports. Emily? Thank you, Olin. On the scoreboard, cross-country was at Norridge last night. The guys came in seventh, and the girls came in fifth. This weekend in Linmar Sports, in addition to tonight's football and tomorrow's volleyball invitational, JV football will play at Jefferson tomorrow morning at 9. Varsity Girls Swimming travels to the Dowling Invitational. In other sports news, if you purchase an activity ticket, make sure that the dot is not punched out. If it is, you will need to stop in the athletic office to get a new one. This must be done before the home game tonight. And don't forget to wear black to the game. It's a blackout. That's Sports Olin. Back to you. Thanks, Emily. In news from the counselors, college planning night is Monday at 6.30 p.m. in the Little Theater. All students and parents are welcome to attend. A representative from the Upper Iowa University will be in the counseling office today at 1.30. For more information on these stories, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now, Zainab takes a look at your arts and clubs. Thanks, Olin. Any thespian intending to apply for the position of director of the thespian show must turn an application to Mrs. Smith today. The FBLA officer installation, member induction, and parent informational meeting is Monday night at 7.30 in the Upper Commons. If you have any questions, see an FBLA advisor. Anyone interested in the fall play, you can't take it with you, can stop by Mrs. Smith's room and check out a script. Tri students will hold an important meeting Monday night at 6 in the food court. Pizza and soda will be provided. If you can't make it, see Kevin McCulley. Any FBLA members going to the State Fall Leadership Conference in Des Moines must have your payment to Mrs. Larson by Monday. That's your club update. Back to you, Olin. Thanks, Zainab. Due to yesterday's brief power outage, Channel 1 did not air. 
Watch it today at 3, right here on LMTV. Now, Emily has your first look at today's lunch. Yes, I do. It's popcorn chicken with broccoli, cauliflower, and cheese, pear slices, and a peanut butter cookie. The other lines will offer the sub sandwich bar, chef salads, pizza, or a la carte items. The food court will serve french fries with the popcorn chicken. That's lunch, Olin. Back to you. LMTV weatherman Alex Starr says we may be dodging raindrops this weekend. Alex? Yes, we are looking at showers and thunderstorms today. I'll have more on that in a moment. First, we're looking at highs in the 70s across the state today. That's 21 degrees Celsius or 294 Kelvin. Taking a look at our thunderstorm chances, the National Weather Service puts us right on the line for a 25 to 50 percent chance of rain. So if you're going to go to the game, bring the rain gear. My specific LMTV forecast calls for a chance of showers and storms, especially this afternoon, with a high of 72. Tonight, occasional showers and thunderstorms. Some storms could produce heavy rain, low of 61. Tomorrow, showers are likely, and a possible thunderstorm with a high of 72. That's the latest on the weather. Back to you. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again Monday and have a great weekend, Linmar.